Hello everyone in YouTube land, Nintendo Fanboy07 back here as always. Alright, this is going to be an interesting, interesting video. Um, you might agree with me because this is something that I'm seeing a trend on with a couple games. And this trend is really, it's a, it's a real letdown, it really is when you think about it. Um, games that are daunting and overwhelming and games that will never come true how people envision in their heads uh, I'm gonna be talking about a couple of games here uh, and I won one game recently well, two actually one at Gamescom because I was paying attention a little bit at Gamescom and that's what striked up this video idea uh, Cyberpunk 2077 um, I do like Cyberpunk I like Blade Runner and Ghost in the Shell and stuff like that. And I can see why people are hyped for this game, but I don't think this game will turn out like the way people envision it in their heads. So that's one game I'm going to be talking about. There's a couple, there's two other games I'm going to be talking about here. Um, but this video is about games that are way too out there, that have these ideas that will never come true. Um, I guess the perfect term or whatever I can think of is pie in the sky type ideas, you know, things that'll never come true, they let you down, they lie, the developers mislead you, that, that's the trend that I'm seeing, is misleading, lying to you, showing you a trailer that's amazing, but never comes true in the final game, like, like No Man's Sky, that is, a, that is a game that I want to talk about in this video too, that was very controversial when it came out, and that's what I think Cyberpunk 2077 will turn out, and another game too, Beyond Good and Evil 2, so, let me talk about those three games. Just, I'm going to be jumping around in here. But, yeah, I, I think the concept art looks really cool for Cyberpunk 2077. I've seen that. There's some interviews, you know, with the developers during Gamescom. I watched it on IGN. And it looks to be really amazing, but I don't think that it will be... They're saying, like, oh, it's the future of gaming. Like, I don't even know what the future of gaming means. Um, does it mean graphics? Like, I don't know, graphics are not everything. Is it, is it because of the graphics that you think this game is the future of gaming? Or is it because there's so much stuff going on? And that's the reason why I think it won't come true, because they have all these ideas, and if you look at the concept art, it's just, it's way too out there. And that's what Beyond Good and Evil 2 is, too. You see all this concept art, and you see the, 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 the cinematic trailers, which the industry just loves to fucking live on. They just love to show you cinematic trailers just flashing in your face, and it's just like, this is impressive, but it's not gameplay. That's what video games are. It's interactive entertainment, not a movie. So show me gameplay, damn it! And instead of just misleading me all the time and lying to me, um, and that's what No Man's Sky was too. They, they showed you this trailer that was just like, wow, this is gonna be amazing. You get to travel all these, all these, all these planets. You get to visit all these people and see people and actual people I'm playing with online. And, it, and then the game and the game turned out just to be so mediocre and underwhelming and just like. You pretty much lied, and they knew what they were doing too. It's not that the game is over. The game is overwhelming, but it's also they took out stuff from the game, and that's what Cyberpunk 2077 will be. When you see gameplay from that game, the first gameplay trailer, when we, when we do finally see it, they're gonna yank some stuff from that gameplay trailer when the game comes out. Anything that you see in that trailer, whatever you th think you, whatever you visions you have in that in your head about that game, it's not gonna come true. They're going to yank a lot of stuff. They're going to pull a lot of stuff from that game. And the game's just going to be really mediocre. You want it to be good because you never had a Cyberpunk game before. But I think it's just going to be a huge letdown. Just like Beyond Good and Evil 2. At least we did see some gameplay of that during E3 of this year. But that game is another game where I'm just like... <laughs> it, it, it is just really daunting and just not... I don't know, man. I mean, the idea of it sounds really cool. You fantasize about it just like Cyberpunk 2077 and No Man's Sky, but it just, it's really just underwhelming and not good. The ideas are there, but it doesn't, it works on paper, but in the game it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't. But with No Man's Sky, they lied to you, like they actually lied, they straight up lied to you, <laughs> you know. Um, I think they're, they're doing that with Cyberpunk 2077, I just don't, that, that's the reason why a lot of people 
there's some people that do, but a lot of people don't like to take their chances on new games, new IP, because of that, because of that type of, you know, incident with No Man's Sky, because, you know, you just never know if this game's going to be as good as what they first showed off. Um, that even happened with Duke Nukem Forever, you know, like, wow, this looks really cool, and you're like, this looks shit, this is garbage, this game is one of the worst games of that generation when it came out. Um, it's not, that's another game, I guess, too. I'm sure, I'm sure there's, like, count, countless other games that showed up, showed you something that what, looked amazing, and then when the game came out, it turned out to be a very, a 6, or a 7, or a 10, or whatever, you're just like, this is not good. Or even a 5, like, this is, like, shit, so... Not worth picking up the collector's over overpriced collector collector's edition. It's not worth it at all. So, um, it it's really sucks when they mislead you like that. And that's a trend that I'm seeing in gaming right now. Um, and that's what's what sparked it was Cyberpunk. Wa watching those interviews with Cyberpunk 2077, and just being like, this is not. The concept art is amazing, but is the game gonna be fun to play? Like, I don't know. I don't think it will be because. I'm seeing that with a lot of other games, like No Man's Sky and Beyond Good, Evil 2, Beyond Good and Evil 2. So, I just don't know. So, comment down below what you think about this. Misleading games, games that are just pie-in-the-sky type ideas, games that will never be true, or how you want them to be. You know what I mean? Like, lower your expectations. Really, like, seriously, like, do it. Because <laughs> you're going to be let down. So, anyways, peace out. More Man of coming soon. Later. Bye.